Hey guys, and welcome back to Five Nine Gaming. As you know, uh, this weekend with all the coverage of E3, we did not do a proper full-length podcast episode, but there has been a couple of things that released uh, on JP and Global, so we thought we'd bring you this little mini segment, an episode 37.5, if you will, just to talk about the two big topics of this week. So, of course, I am the Master Ningen, and I am here with the LR King himself, Mr. Detruth. Say hello. Oh, hello. We have the homie himself, Mr. Verified, Goresh. What's going on, guys? And then we have our boy, the newest member of our Dokon team, JP's Yellow Flash. Say hello to Minato. How's it going, dude? Hello, everyone. Okay, so the big, big news, of course, is JP, the man himself, physical final form cooler, finally got his EZA, second to last of the 120 leaders. We only have Super Saiyan 3, Angel Goku to go. And yeah, this guy, he's, he's kind of in a similar position to the Super Saiyan 4s, where his kit is nothing crazy, bizarre, adventurous, but he's pretty good. So Truth, I know you've done a world tour with him. How do you feel about physical final form coolers EZA? Uh, I think they did a great job with his design. Honestly, he's very powerful. Um, Link set is very good. He works great with all of the villain units just because of how good that Link set is. Uh -huh. um, really, the only thing I would say is that when I was using him through some of the difficult content, I just think that his teams like like need a little bit of buffs, right? Now, when I say that, I'm saying specifically, like, I feel like we could potentially see uh, new leaders for, like, terrifying conquerors and stuff like that. I feel like that would be good, right? Like, mm. I, just just sort of more options. It's like a very similar thing, I think, to um, uh, what you call it. Uh, uh, what's his name? I, 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 I'm blanking. Int Broly. <laughs> I feel like Int Broly and Physical Cooler have some similarities in that it's just about them getting like improved units to run alongside them, mm. and they're just going to continue to be great and age great and stuff like that. And uh, Minato, you're another resident JP main. Have you uh, had much experience with our EZA cooler yet? Yeah, uh, actually today uh, I was doing a, more some test runs with him. I took him into the God event, actually against Sidra type neutral. And he was actually doing pretty well though. I got him at the first turn, he was taking like 30k in normals. And then he started taking double digits after, which is really impressive in my opinion. Uh, he starts off obviously really strong because he has that start off you know 120 percent attack and defense um i didn't think they're really going to change much with this kit he works i feel looks really well with the teams and the units he wants to be around you know you know it's like turles cooler um you know for that easy first form frieza there's many units that he really does work because his link set is again phenomenal um there's not much i would say really to change about the unit He's good in short events and long events, and I'm just overall very impressed with what he does. He hits really hard too, like like minimum like four million I found. Yeah, I've seen some crazy screenshots of like eight million attack stats, which I assume is a rotation, you know, loaded with support. But even so, that's uh, uh that's I mean, pretty, I had pretty crazy. I had a rotation where he did three ten million attack stats. <sighs> yeah, <So. laughs> like fully built with B pen. I had but, that like, too. That's, dude. Like, I, I probably would argue I like Super Saiyan 4 Goku slightly better because I think like in Super Saiyan 4 Goku's like just like a worse situation. I think he's a little bit better than Cooler. Um, and, you know, maybe like turn one, some of these Super Battle Road Sages, I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku can be a bit better. But it's like once Cooler builds up, the Super Saiyan 4s are not a, like on his level. Mm. But like yeah. not much in the game is <laughs> once cooler is like really built up. <laughs> yeah, if you get cooler like fully maxed out, it's very hard to compare it to what he does, especially since you get triple super. It's pretty absurd. And even starting off, like I found him like around like at least like 170k defense, which is very impressive considering when he builds up his attack and defense, that's actually like a multiplicative buff. So in the end, it turns out to be like when he's fully built up, like around like 300% attack and defense, which is pretty good. Absurd with his EZA stats. Yeah, because that was yeah, one think, big... Uh, Sorry, go. I was going to say, I think when you look at like the changes that they made from him going to pre-EZA to post-EZA, the reason why they didn't have to really change much about him is because the best part about this unit is the links. Mm. And the mm -hmm. links are obviously not going to change, right? Um, so I'd be, that, that's probably his biggest asset is like his link set. And then the one thing people really don't, I don't think I've ever seen anybody mention this at all, um, this being like a big change that they did. But the 
percent chance for the addition to become a super went from a chance, which is 10 percent, to yep. a medium chance, which is a 30 percent chance. So it tripled. <laughs> the chance to get an additional super tripled yeah, when you yeah. eat, and nobody really talked about that. Yeah, that is yeah, a big, it, big change, definitely. It was funny. I got a comment <laughs> where, because uh, I, I was sort of like talking bad about Tech Vegito Blue and about how he would never additional super because he has that <laughs> same 10 percent chance, right? And someone's like, oh, but you're talking so good about Cooler. It's like, well, Cooler is at 30% now, right? Like, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was something I did notice because I did a little mini sort of global preview because obviously we, we have to wait a little while for, for us to get this. And one of the big things that people said even before his details were revealed was we, we knew that they didn't have to do much to make him pretty good because even pre EZA on a good team on a good setup he still hits some pretty good numbers but that was something I'd actually forgotten until looking back over his kit there is only a 10% chance for the additional so I didn't get to see it many times in that run so it going up from 10% to 30 is obviously pretty uh, pretty impressive so Goresh obviously it has been said that you are a fan of Wicked Bloodline characters so Overall, what are your thoughts on Cooler and how excited for him to come to Global are you? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think this is a unit that specifically both the Wicked Bloodline team and the Terrifying Conqueror team really want, and he fits well on both of those teams. The one thing I will say, though, about Wicked Bloodline is we haven't really gotten a really stand out Wicked Bloodline unit recently other than the Angel uh, Frieza, the transforming one. Mm. Um, and even the problem he, with he him is he doesn't really share that many links with this cooler. Um, yeah. No Big Bad mm -hmm. Bosses is notably the most important link. Um, so I think we're waiting for that like one really powerful like Furiza unit that's not from Dragon Ball Super or maybe some kind of like LR, you know, transforming cooler or cooler armor squadron or something like that to be able to pair up with this guy on, on like the Wicked Bloodline team specifically. And that will really propel this guy up more. I, honestly, I think we're ready for a like LR dual Dokkan Fest Namek Goku full power Frieza. Like that's it's mm. time. I think I agree, yeah. especially yeah, if sure. you want to push all like the new ten SBR stages. Um, ESBR because Ginyu Force needs a ball five. That's going off topic. <laughs> Because, yeah, the actual Wicked Bloodline itself, uh, nowadays most people just run STR Cooler and use the kind of hybrid, even though it's actually a Transformation Boost Terrifying Conquerors team, because AGL Metal Cooler <laughs> doesn't really stand up in some of the hardest content that's available now. So a new yeah. Wicked Bloodline leader would definitely be pretty exciting. So for Truth I mean, and... Uh, Go on. I was going to say, I mean, STR Cooler is a good partner for him for sure, uh -huh. but we can't just have him be the only partner for him, right? Well, yes, yes, I, I have I got the unit for you, buddy? The God, Garlic Jr. <laughs> I'm just the Wicked Bloodline. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I know, but Garlic, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the meme. I love, <laughs> I love that they finally gave us Garlic Jr. and they made him so good. Oh, I no. love that. I adore that. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> they had to. Uh, so for Truth and Minato, just very briefly, the actual EZA event itself, um, what are your thoughts? I know it was Super Saiyans and STR Super Saiyans has a pretty stacked uh, library to choose from. So in terms of the overall difficulty, how did you find the actual EZA event? I found it very easy. Um, he does lower your defense uh, from what I'm remembering because of his super yeah. attack effects. Yep. But if you look out for that and you're really in the careful about it, there's no issues. You can also run AGO units. They do uh, effective uh -huh. damage, I believe. So like, you know, the Spirit Bomb absorbed Goku. Uh, I know some people on my friends list, they're running LR AGO Gohan. So it's definitely not a difficult event at all um, since Super Saiyans is just still a strong team. I definitely did find that that last stage though, like, again, with the lowering defense, that boy hit hard as hell in that last mm -hmm. stage. <laughs> like, like you, if, if he, cause like, if you're like, yeah, you could use Spirit Bomb Goku and he can like, you know, maybe if you're lucky, he could like nearly one shot Cooler for sure. But at the same time, if Cooler catches him, you're dead on stage 30. <laughs> yeah, that's, that won't be a pretty sight, especially if you don't get like too many orders with him, which would be kind of rare, but still. His, his senses, yeah, that's basically all I'd say. If, he gets super used to that. So yeah, overall... Because these bosses... When bosses lower defense on super, they're just way harder, uh -huh. right? Because that's Especially... where they could super you and then hit you seven times and kill pretty much exactly. anyone. 
Yeah, it's super noticeable when there's multiple attacks in one slot. Because um, I did another run on the GT LGE for something else earlier. And you can really tell, like, if that super attack comes early, you go from taking double digits to taking, like, 50k sometimes. So it can uh, definitely be a pretty big effect. So going on from that EZA, which seems like that one was pretty straightforward. That's a nice one that makes sense. Super Saiyans, uh, the effective units are STR and AGL, which is the typings of both of the actual category leaders. But from there, we move on to the big thing for Global, which was, of course, we finally got the EZA for physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And his EZA, the special category is Youth. And of course, both of the Youth actual category leaders are both in units so that one was a little bit more interesting Goresh I'm assuming you'll have done the easy a by now uh, how did you find the event I didn't think it was too bad um I mean for me to say that is not really meaningful for most of the players <laughs> but, but um I don't really think it's going to be that difficult I mean when you compare this easy a to something like the Super Saiyan 4 easy a it's like not even like not even in the same realm like the mm -hmm. Super Saiyan 4 easy is way more difficult um, we have the LR Broly EZA, which made more difficult. So we have gotten recently some pretty difficult EZAs. Um, and I don't, th I don't really think this one is like super difficult when you compare it to those ones. Yeah, I think it, it definitely felt like when I was going through it that they, this one was what, on the easier end of the scale of the EZA difficulties. Yeah, and I don't I know agree. if in part that is because the youth category is a little bit more restrictive and obviously like i say both the leaders are in i actually saw a lot of people just doing it with a straight out super str team um i've seen people beat stage 30 literally with double super saiyan 4 goku leaders and then just a bunch of really strong str units um yeah so overall i didn't think this one was too difficult but the actual unit himself, obviously now with his EZA, massive, massive improvement, of course, just what we would like to see from an EZA. This unit is now very viable in most events in the game, I would say. Um, obviously, he's been out on JP a while. How do you think that he has aged, Truth? Uh, I think he's fine, because he's just... The thing about him is he's on so many of these really small, bad, shitty teams <laughs> that, like, I just feel like there's a lot of avenues to use him on, right? Like, even mm -hmm. a lot of the the 10 new category Super Battle Road stages, Gotenks is on three or four of those category teams, right? Like, mm -hmm. he's just... There's a lot of places to use him, right? He's built in a solid way. They took away a lot of the annoying aspects, like like his, like, lowering his defense. Like, they got rid of that but kept like what's good about him. So like, I, I think his easy is, is well done. He's good, right? Like, I, I think I would probably argue like Super Gogeta is a bit better and stuff, but I do think um, Gotenks is fine. He's pretty good. Yeah, one of the things I think comparable sort of to Gogeta, one of the things I do like about him is they added in that uh, dodge chance in his passive because mm -hmm. there's a lot of units that you can run around him because I've tried him out on a couple of other teams and especially units like the Int Gotenks, the Dokon Fest one. There's a lot of units that you can run around him who really want to super attack first to get their defense. And so you can actually put this guy in slot one and um, get that 30% dodge, which is kind of a strategy you can use with the Int Gogeta as well on the fusion team. So his, his EZA does kind of remind me of him. Uh, in that respect because it gives you that ability to actually put him in slot one because obviously none of his super attacks actually raise his uh, defense at all so you can get lucky and obviously get those multiple dodges which can look very nice um the only thing i would say for me about him is a lot of the units that you want to run him around to get all of his links active like some of the super saiyan 3 links or some of the like goten and trunks goten specific links it can sometimes be difficult to get the 11 key is something that i've noticed because if you have another Gotenks, like say the int one as soon as he hits super saiyan 3 and you're getting over in a flash and fused fire it's basically impossible to get the 11 key super so you have to be a little bit careful with the team building i think sometimes but Overall, I would say he's pretty good. I think this Gotenks uh, was designed a little uh, in thoughts of the Goten and Trunks using that came out. Mm -hmm. Like, you could use this Gotenks as a slot one unit, and then you could use the Goten and Trunks in the second slot. Although they don't share, like, of course, really key links, they do share a decent amount of attack links, and Gotenks is able to get his early super, and if anything, Goten and Trunks do also build up key from their passive, uh, if you have another Goten and Trunks on the team, or something along those lines. 
Um, I really do like using Super Saiyan 3 Gold Trunks. He's a fun design unit because, you know, trying to get that uh, 11 key, trying to leverage, figure out how you place your orbs to get it. It just adds something else to the game that I find enjoyable. Mm. Um, I would say that he's definitely more so of a short event unit, although you could use him in long events. Of course, once that seven, pa seven time account passive runs out, it's kind of, he's like, okay you know because he's just solid 150 percent attack and defense and loses like the dodge chance and things like that so that's why i like trying to pair him with like ink go tanks after he transforms is kind of wonky because by that time it's passable most likely i've been run out yeah so that is uh Goresh, have you taken him into many of the different events in the game yet what are your thoughts on uh his performance so the reason why I was really excited for this EZA is because I wanted to pair them up alongside the uh, the, the Int Go Tanks, the Transform version, uh -huh. um, because they share so many links together. Because I, I was trying to use the Int one on, I think it was just like a, like a Majin Buu team. Maybe it was a hybrid team. It was either Hybrids or Majin Buu Saga. And uh -huh. he didn't really have a great linking partner um, in that Super Saiyan 3 form up until now, right? I mean, you could technically yeah. use him with his uneasy aid self. And I actually did that in my video. I brought him into like the uh, Legendary Goku event, the OG one. And he, the physical one got like instantly obliterated. So just, <laughs> you could use them together, but it's not a, a great idea. But now that, he's easy, now that he has his easy A, it's definitely much easier to do that. And I feel like um, them linking together is uh, going to be, you're going to be able to bring out the full potential of the, of the int one much better, which I feel like oh, is a yes. great uh, positive. Yeah, they have, mm -hmm. I think they share every single link except for Budding Warrior when the yeah. int yep. one is at Super Saiyan 3. So I actually did a run earlier today at the time of recording on the GT legendary goku event and uh the physical one even after his passive had run out is still hitting sort of like five million and then the int go tanks is able to hit like five million plus and of course if it's the turn or turn after you've transformed to super saiyan 3 he's doing multiple super attacks um against the int super saiyan 4 goku even with his passive run out the uh physical go tanks was still taking double digit damage from normal attacks which was pretty good but then by the time you get to the tech full power one i think he started taking sort of like 50k without an item active which considering the damage some enemies can take in that final phase i wouldn't say is terrible so i do agree with what minato says that his strength is definitely in shorter events but he definitely can still hang in the longer events he's obviously just not as good but easy a stats and 150 attack and defense is uh still pretty solid so mm -hmm in terms at least he didn't get the super saiyan 3 broly treatment so uh yeah. obviously <laughs> gone oh, oh, no. yeah that that yeah. trash yeah yeah the it's the <laughs> it's great thing is the not only did they remove because it was he reduced his own defense for seven turns not only did they remove that but they changed it into him getting a buff for seven turns so that's exactly the kind of uh easy a that we want to see so only tech super saiyan 3 angel goku is left what are, what just as a i guess a brief way to end off here what are your thoughts your hopes and dreams for super saiyan 3 angel goku's easy eh? i'm kind of interested in it because he's really just starter turn attack there's a lot that they could probably add to him maybe even increase his stun chance like a high chance to stun Maybe like give him something where sometimes he creates rainbow orbs himself or, you know, if he gets something additional from the rainbow orbs aside from just attack. Uh, I think they could they could take him a really interesting turn because um, there's a lot to really change about him because since he's again, he's just have that start of turn attack. Uh, I think he'll again help, you know, a team like Super Saiyan 3, stuff like that. Um, he'll also be, uh, you know, re a reasonable partner to run with the Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks himself. So I am pretty excited on how he's going to turn out personally. Uh, Truth, what are your thoughts? Yeah, we'll see. He should be next. Um, hard to say, though, with Tanabata coming up, right? Uh -huh. Like, maybe they could do some curveball, some big category unit or something like that to fit the theme. But, uh, I don't think he'll be next. No, I think, uh, like Minato was saying, the, there's, uh, I guess the groundwork is fully open for him because he doesn't really do a huge amount already. He has that thing with the rainbow orbs gives him some extra attack, so it'd be cool if they went the sort of Int Gogeta kind of route where maybe picking up certain amounts of rainbow orbs gives him extra abilities but obviously that is something that we will have to wait and see so i guess that is going to be it we will wrap up here for this mini episode 
Uh, obviously, like I said, no proper podcast episode this week, but you know, we got to give you guys something. I'm sure you were very interested to hear our opinions on Cooler and Gotenks. And do not worry, the regularly scheduled programming with uh, our good old host, Toon Rami, will be back next week for a proper full length episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So from me, Truth, Minato, and Goresh, we will see you all next time.